Hello everyone. Hello everyone. How you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video I have a Dell laptop in front of me. Uh, this one is a Dell Inspiron 5000 series which is 559 model. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to install a Windows 10 uh, image from your USB drive uh, into the brand new. You can pretty much format the hard drive if you upgraded the hard drive to a solid state drive or anything like that or you pretty much you just want to erase and install a fresh install of windows 10 you can do it in this uh, following this video i made another video on uh, specifically how to burn windows 10 image into your usb stick if you can you want to follow and see how you can create this usb stick follow my video in my description and once you have this image of windows 10 in here and you have new drive in there in here we have a new ssd drive or if you have the old one if you want to format it's the same thing all you wanted to do is to grab the usb plug into any usb port on the side and then let me see if i can get the glare of the screen here if i turn off the other light all right now while you're turning it on you want to press f12 so once you power it on, press, keep tapping on F12. Just keep tapping once you see the logo. And it says preparing for the boot menu. And once you inside the boot menu in here, you want to see a, uh, it says boot Samsung flash drive. So you want to choose the first option, which is your, let me see here. You see the first option, it says UFEI Samsung Drive. So you want to select that one, bring it down with the arrow key and just click enter. And now it's going to read the USB drive. It's okay. I don't know this screen, it does this because the GPU on this model is kind of damaged. But don't worry about it. You're not going to do that random lines. And in here, you want to come down and you want to choose next. Choose your language that you choose. Choose to click next. And click on install now. And pretty much you have to wait right now. Once you get to this menu, you want to read the license terms. If you want to read, I'll suggest you guys read it. So click I accept the license terms and click next. Now this is very important. In here you want to click on the custom, not upgrade version. So click on the custom, install windows only. So click on this one and it's going to take you to the hard drive partition. If you have your old windows installed and you want to format, it's going to show you drive zero and many few partitions. For example, I'm just going to create new so you guys get an idea. So you don't have to do this part right now. Here. Yours might be like something like this. It should say drive zero, drive zero, but you have few partitions. All you want to do, click each one of the partition and click delete and OK. Delete every partition that uh, shows delete button active. So delete until you only left with drive one, zero and only one partition and you cannot delete anymore okay once you're in here you can either click new next or simply click next once you click next it does the new for you so just click next now is pretty much going through the installation process it's going to take about 10 to 15 minutes doing the whole installation if you have an ssd it might take you a uh, 15 10 minutes or less depending on your CPU. Now I'm gonna fast forward this part and it's gonna restart and it's gonna take you to a welcome menu and it's gonna give you to choose few options. And those options are really important the way you choose. Unless if you don't do it, you get a whole bunch of bloodware and many other pro affiliated programs that are installed. So to prevent that, make sure your laptop is not connected to a Wi-Fi or it's not connected via cable to your modem. Disconnect any connection in between your laptop or your PC to the internet. So it's already at 42%. I'm gonna let this one run and I'll be back once the, after it restarts.
Okay, so after it restarts, uh, the first restart is going to show up that it's doing uh, some preparation driver or doing some other stuff. So just let it be and just sit back and wait until you get to the screen that it gives you uh, more options to choose. So we're just going to let this one go through. And once we get to the welcome screen, and uh, Cortana is going to start talking to you guys. So you guys have to mute Cortana. So it's going to say getting stuff ready. So let this one run. So it did one last restart, I believe. So this is, if there should be a total of two or maximum three restarts. So now it's going to take you to the welcome and Cortana is going to start talking. As it says, just a moment, so. Hi there, I'm Cortana. I'm here to help. Alright, so we're gonna mute. Your Wi Fi there. So go ahead and mute the Cortana right here. Once you mute it, just wait a second, let it just realize that you muted it. So it's gonna give you a manual override. Alright, now you're gonna choose your region in the United States. And you're gonna choose your keyboard layout, US, unless you have a different keyboard layout, and click add a layout, just click escape. And connect to the Wi Fi, no at all, just click I don't have an internet. Even if you do, just click I don't have it. In here, you're gonna click continue with a limited setup. And for the put a name, so I'll put Dell. And press enter for the password. You can put a password or just leave it blank. Just press enter. Now, for the privacy, I don't like it's uh, Microsoft is spying on you all the location and everything else. So, I'm just going to turn up all the options here. So, go ahead and start turning off all the options. I'm pressing tab and space on each or just manually click on them and then click accept. And uh, click not now. And now it should take you next step on the desktop. Once you're in the desktop, before you connect it to the internet, there's a few things you must do. Otherwise, you're gonna, you're gonna get a whole bunch of bloatware and uh, affiliated programs installed on your laptop, and you don't want that. So you wanna eliminate those options first. All right, once we are in the desktop, so very, First thing first, you want to don't click on get started, click maybe later for the Microsoft Edge and then you want to come down to start menu and then you're going to see all these arrow keys here. These arrow keys, arrow icons, that means these are affiliated programs that are with the Microsoft as soon as you get internet connection and they're going to start downloading Candy Crush, McAfee and a whole bunch of the other uh, games that is going to start block, uh, slowing down your computer. So what you want to do, you want to right click on the arrow keys and click unpin from start. So uh, even if you unpin it from start, because they are shortcut to be ready to download, that means once you get internet, they're not gonna download anywhere else. So just unpin them. Even the Microsoft Store, just unpin it. This one is not uninstalling, it's just pretty much unpinning it. In here, this one unpin. Photos, unpin. The arrow, unpin. And for the Microsoft Office and everything, Outlook, all that, I just, I open it by accident. I just like to uninstall these ones. I just right click and click uninstall. Uninstall. And uh, for the shortcut for the office, unpin. And the office 365, I don't use it. So I'm gonna uninstall it. I'm gonna install the version that I have, which is 2019. Once you see that, all that, and then you can come back again to the Wi-Fi or connect your cable to the modem. Connect to, the mod, uh, to your modem, to your wireless network, and then you can go straight to the settings, all the way down to the Windows Update and Security, and then you're gonna click Check for Update, and it's gonna give you a whole bunch of update, and you're gonna be probably there for one hour downloading updates, depending how fast your internet connection is, and it's, you're gonna probably have to restart a few times, and come back and do a recheck for an update as once you update it gives you a red check i mean the red check green check that means all the updates are up to date 
then you are all set. It's going to download the video drivers, audio drivers, everything else is going to start downloading. So don't panic if you like, oh my God, my screen resolution is horrible, this and that. With Windows Update, it's going to solve your problem. So do a Windows Update until you get in the green check. Okay, and that's it for today. I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to install your own in Windows. If you did, please click that thumbs up button and think about subscribing. It really helps and motivates me to make more videos for you guys and take requests. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.